Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to this thing. How bizarre. Uh, I'm not talking about the dreadful camera that sat on top of it, sellotaped together. This is a very old camera. I'm talking about this very impressive piece of apparatus. This is called a gimbal, uh, which is a stupid word. This thing is um, basically for anyone who's into photography or camera ring, uh, which is a made up word. Uh, and basically the idea is that it makes very steady shots. Uh, you can kind of hold it and drag it around and the camera stays in one place. Um, or you can pan around with the little buttons on it uh, and do things like take photos by pressing other buttons. Uh, is this particular gimbal any good? Let's find out. Gimbal, 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 gimbal! There's an empty box. It's unboxed. Job done. Hello. Hello. Important, not important. Hmm, bye-bye. What's this thing? Oh, wow. Look at that! <laughs> like, my hands aren't just dead tiny, they are like massive batteries. Oh god, it's like completely in bits. It's gonna take me ages to figure out how to put this together, isn't it? I am your father. Stop that. Crikey, okay. Battery charger, that's good. Because I wouldn't want to have to keep replacing those things. I know there are about 300 embittered people in the comments going, What have they sent it to this douchebag for? He doesn't know anything about photography. I know what all of that stuff is. They should have sent it me. That is the main portion of the gimbal. I think once I've set this up, it's not ever going to go back in here because how on earth would you keep putting it back together again? It's crazy. Cool. Let's see if I can build this thing. So I've got to figure out how to put all of this stuff together and I haven't a clue because I've never done it before. Look at the amount of stuff! So the trick to this is to pick up the largest glass of wine you can find and to make sure to refer to it as a glass so you don't feel uncouth with your alcoholism. Perfect, the gimbal is now doing basically no work, so the motor isn't having to do a great deal to balance the camera, but it does when you have to when you move it around. So now I can move it around and it will be able to maintain the balance of something that you've already weighted quite well yourself. Perfect! Done! Let's test this beast out. Cue the annoying upbeat vlogger music. <laughs> I'm not a pedophile. She's just worried I look like a pedo for film children. Yeah, but she's in there, like, and we're walking along. <laughs> and out of all the times to bend down and go near the glass <laughs> to hide. Trying to get off yeah, anyone's yeah. skirt. Specifically instructed not to film this as ours. Things are bloody pretty.
So the big question is, is this worth it? And the answer is, it really depends. Uh, if you are planning on doing this kind of thing uh, semi-professionally, or you really want really good-looking pictures of your family, then this is around £400, and it is not cheap! It is not cheap at all! Uh, don't press that dislike button, I have other options for you. Uh, if you want this kind of effect uh, with your mobile phone, this thing is around £100. The reason this thing is so expensive is because it has to be able to carry the weight of a DSLR camera, or maybe even bigger. It can carry this much weight, and therefore costs £400. Do I have any gripes with this gimbal? The answer is, I don't really know. Um, I have very carefully set this up, and it was a real steep learning curve. This isn't an easy thing to put together. You have to get the weight and the balance just right, even before you turn it on. Once it's turned on, I found that carrying it around, I can't quite get it to come back to uh, the left very well sometimes when I'm carrying a boot. And I don't know if that's because I haven't uh, weighted it properly, I haven't got the balance correct, uh, but either way, I'm finding it sticks a little bit, and it takes a little bit longer to come back to the left. Uh, I haven't really noticed that in the footage as much as I've noticed it when I'm actually physically holding it and looking at it, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Uh, at this price range, this is actually an entry-level gimbal, believe it or not. Uh, £400 is cheap for a gimbal, as gimbals go. Uh, so, do I have any gripes? I don't think so. It's probably my fault. I probably didn't weight it correctly. What other functions does this camera have? This camera has a few things. You can double press this button on the front and it will spin around to face me. I can double click it again and it will spin around to face the subject. Uh, it has got um, a button that goes up, down, left and right. If I change the mode, I can also get it to do this, which wow. is kind of cool. Uh, it has on it a USB charger for charging your DSLR camera, so you can just plug it straight in and charge it. That will obviously drain its batteries quite a lot quicker. Uh, that is about it. So there is of course an app, which I've not even bothered to show you at all, so I'm going to let this guy show it you instead, because I'm terribly lazy. Uh, so I'm just going to press play here. Uh, this is the Feiyu Tech UK and Ireland YouTube official, so hopefully I won't get in trouble for showing you this. Uh, just search for it yourself and you'll be able to watch it. He's uh, moving the thing around using that joystick there, uh, so that's one of the obvious things you can do. It also does other stuff, like you can calibrate it to move more slowly and change dead zones and follow speeds. If you're interested in all that stuff, for just go and watch that video. I'm not going to take you through it. Like I said, lazy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and apparently ring a bell now. If you don't ring a bell, you probably won't hear from me. Uh, also, there is my social media. My missus has made me uh, by sticking her foot up in my bum. Make, so there is some social media if you want to hang out with me. Uh, and also, there is a way to support my channel. If you want to hit me up on PayPal or Patreon, more long term, then you can help make these videos possible. Uh, that is it. I'll see you next time. Safety taped together. Safety taped? That's not a word. Come back. That's another stupid word. <laughs> safety taped. Safety taped again.